So we clean the sides, both sides of the crack where we want to install these gauges. And we install, we start with the first piece, I call it bottom piece, that has crosshair and this tab sticking out toward me. I use adhesive or um, epoxy, any kind of adhesive or epoxy, and uh, I put some of these on the back side, on the back side of this surface where the holes are, and I place this over the crack. on this side of the wall, it could be on the other side too. So I get very close to the center of the crack where this crosshair are gonna be close to the center of the gap and I keep it. Put it on here and try hold it level and I hold it for a few minutes until uh, the adhesive works. While I'm holding this piece, the bottom piece, uh, so the adhesive work, and I'm gonna talk about these holes. Both pieces, the bottom piece and the top piece has four holes on it, which can, uh, you can use uh, fasteners through these holes to mount these on the walls. I only recommend this uh, for uh, drywall only, because it's easier to drill into it and fastener will work better and you can use adhesive as, as well but if you are using if you are installing on concrete masonry bricks I would recommend using adhesive only instead of drilling into this uh, structure so I already installed this one on this side of the wall of the crack and it took about two or three minutes and it's secure. Then I get the second piece, which I call a top piece that has the cutout and the markings. And I put same amount of adhesive on this side of the, this surface. So I put uh, adhesive on the other side of this surface and put it on the other side of the crack on this wall and I'm holding it level but the key is you need to align this crosshair on the bottom piece to the zeros on top piece on, on both directions these zeros and these zeros so the vertical line of the crosshair is aligned with, aligned with the zeros of the top piece and the horizontal line on the bottom piece is aligned with zeros of top piece and I hold this another few minutes until it's uh, secure so I install the, the, the top piece on this side of the crack and align the zeros horizontally and vertically and basically we are done. Next step I'm going to show you how to document the depth movement. As you can see this wall has already moved uh, each side. Either side have moved in and out and I'll show you how to take the reading and, and follow up. I'm gonna tell you how to take uh, measurement in the Z direction which would be depth movement of the walls so that would be the third plane this tab that is sticking out toward me has markings here and this is part of the bottom piece basically when the move when the wall moves in and out toward or away from you this piece will move and the top surface of the top piece this surface would be your reference point to take the reading 
you get it like a card like this this is my business card and I slide it over until it hits the number on this tab that is sticking out toward you that's the number uh, that would be your initial measurement for the depth movement and most of the time this number is not gonna be zero because the wall might have moved in and out prior to installing these gauges okay so in the observation chart you put the date and location of these gauges if you have more than one you mark number one and number two and you put zero for the vertical displacement and zero for horizontal displacement column because you already aligned this to be zero when you start installing this but the depth movement is not going to be zero so you need to take the initial measurement like I show you you use the surface top surface of the top piece and you slide the card over until it hits the marking of the tab that is sticking out toward you all the readings are in millimeters and that's it that would be your initial readings zero horizontal zero vertical and your depth movement displacement would be the number on this tab sticking out toward you by sliding a card over the top surface that's how you take the readings next time for the depth movement